Uh, good morning, David. How are you going? Good, Rob. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Um, how's the, the group settled down after the, the venues? And are you sort of getting, getting on with it now and found a, a, a right approach to, to that? Uh, yeah, we have. Um, you know, I mentioned last week that you know, we were able to brief the players on the information that we knew and, um, yeah, I, I thought they, they dealt with it really well. Um, yeah, we turned up on, on Saturday and did what we needed to do. We didn't quite get the win, but, yeah, no, they were they were obviously, you know, there was a range of emotions, but we, we felt like we um, handled it with sensitivity, mate. So that was, um, yeah, well handled by the club. OK, um, now you've got some injured, other injured players. Um, uh, Taran and Cam, um, where are we, we at with them? Yeah, they're both available. They've, um, Taran just has to get through training today. He's you know, had that stage progression through the, the 12-day protocol with a concussion. So, um, and yeah, Cam's expected to, to be available and back in the team, mate. So we'll get him through training today. So both of those guys, they'll be back in the, in the 22 this week. How are you approaching the, the, the finish to the season and, and what do you hope to get out of it? Yeah, well, we're, we're approaching it really strongly. You know, we want to continue momentum. We want to continue to learn, you know, experience to, to play the Tigers um, that are still vying for a final position. Um, you know, the, the manner in which they play the game and what they've been able to achieve in the last, you know, four or five years now has been fantastic for, for us to be able to gain that experience at the G against Richmond, you know, going forward is invaluable. So, yeah, we, we're really excited about, um, you know, trying to finish strongly in the in the last three games. Um, what about Corin Powell? Um, how's their progress going and, uh, for the final three weeks? Yeah, they're, they're done for the year. Um, so we, we've made a decision. We'll, we'll continue to try to keep those guys, you know, just bowling over, heading into sort of pre-season, but though, neither of those two will be available for the remaining part of the year. OK, that's, a, that's disappointing. It is, yeah. Look, it, it's always disappointing when you don't have, you know, players available, but, um, you know, our medicos have worked hard to try to get them to, to a position, you know, even for for a VFL game at the, the back end of, you know, round 23, but it's just not viable um, at this point of time, so... You know, low risk, mate, at this point. Um, make sure they're ready to go for pre-season. Um, any any debutants likely to, to, to get a go? Uh, is there anyone that you want to specifically refer to? My spies tell me Charlie Condon's place. I don't, I don't think so. Um, not, not this week. I, look, the one that we really liked um, that we think will probably stay on the side is Eddie Ford. Like, we, we really liked his game last week. We were pretty pretty sure we were able to maintain him in that team to have a look at it. So, um, But no, Charlie won't be making his, uh, his debut this week. He, he, look, his form's been terrific. He's, he's, and look, there's a bunch of guys down there as well. I think Paddy Walker's been uh, really, really good in the last month, Phoenix Spices. So we've got three you know, or four down there, mate, I think, that are really continuing to put some pressure on. And, and longer term, this time of year, um, you know, some players on the fringe... <laughs> Uh, can start to get nervous. I mean, will, will you be significantly turning over the list, do you think, at the end of the year? Not sure at this stage. I mean, the, the rules demand that we, we have to make change anyway. So what that looks like at the moment, um, you know, we, we're obviously having some internal discussions as to what that looks like, but we haven't settled on anything. Uh, we haven't settled on how many picks we want in the draft per se. Uh, we, we're just really pushing really hard um, to continue what we've... I guess what we've started at the beginning of the year, and it's it's now started to you know come a little bit more to fruition in the in the back half. So we we're pushing hard to just see what we can finish with at the end of the year. Uh, no, so I know you're in Tassie when the VFL game was on, but Jacob Edwards got his first uh, hit out at the level. Um, have you had a chance to look back at the footage of his game, and what have you made of it? Yeah, we we did, Alex. He was able to play the week before as well. We had a bit of a scratchy between the Hawks and and Carlton, so. Yeah, no, we, we really like um, the look of him and Charlie Combin up forward. You know, the the, the two tools up there, um, you know, with Nick in Larky in good form at the moment, you know, our, our tall stocks look like they're in, in pretty good position. So he's got a long way to go. He's, 
the difficulty we've had with him, Alex, is with the school and the protocols with COVID. We haven't been able to have him in regularly, but the times that we have been able to um, get him in for training, really diligent, um, you know, excited with his capacity to continue to learn, improve. And, yeah, he's, um, he's a really driven, determined young man that, you know, wants to make his mark in the next few years with us. Yeah, you talk about the sort of scratchy games and obviously it's something that every club has had to deal with um, throughout the better course the last few weeks. Um, yep. What do you see as the difference between playing those sort of scratch matches and having a full VFL game? Uh, well, I actually don't think there's been much difference, to be honest. Because you've got um, basically AFL-listed players playing in, in those games and everyone's been able to work really well together to... You know, if, if we needed an extra ruck or someone else, you know, Carlton needed an extra ruck or the Hawks, we, we've worked really well together. The standards of those games, mate, have, have been really high. Um, there's probably been not as much defence at different times. It's, it's been a little bit offensive, but to be able to have a, a really high calibre game um, in those scratch matches has actually been really valuable for our, particularly for us, um, with some injuries early and for players to gain some form in those games mate, to then put the pressure on. Um, so Eddie Ford had a really good game in that scratch match, um, kicked a couple of goals, played a bit of midfield time and was able to put his name you know, up in match committee. So that's what it, it allows, um, certainly it's allowed us to do. Yeah, um, and we talk about your tools as well and obviously there's a guy who's been in incredible form the past few weeks in Nick Larkey. What have you seen the difference between him at the start of the year and to now, what sort of allowed him to play to his potential? Look, he's continued to work really hard at his, at his craft. I think I think one of the things I've mentioned before, I think our ball movement's helped him a bit too, mate. I think, you know, we've got a bit more consistent with how we've been able to deliver the ball for him. Um, he, he's just continued to try to do his homework on his opposition most weeks. Um, Heath Uni's been terrific for him in leading patterns and understanding, you know, his skill set that he can sort of pitch against the opposition. So we've loved the, the fact of how he goes about his work. Uh, and we actually think some of his defensive pressure, you know, as a forward, which is pretty crucial nowadays, mate, has, has been a real fundamental part of his game. Yeah, it would have perhaps been doing plenty of homework this week to prepare for the likes of um, Dylan Grimes and Dave Asprey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no more than I think. You know, playing the team that sit second on the ladder last week as well. Um, you know, with a with a couple of tough defenders. So, um, but no, yeah, he, he needs to go to work with some with some high quality defenders this week. There's no doubt about that. Um, you know, those two guys in particular are are really hard to to score goals on and you know and to compete in one on one contests. So, yeah, he'll he'll need to have his his best form there for this week.